A Navy veteran went out downtown Saturday night. When he came back to his car, he says he found his window smashed and a calling card left behind. On it, a Nazi symbol and a message about race that made him feel very uncomfortable. Reporter Maya Science has a story you'll see only on 3. Maya? Yeah, Jen Delante Vincent says he experienced what he calls a hate crime just a month after moving here to Omaha. At first, all you seen was glass here and here. A former Navy man's car window was smashed over the weekend. It happened early Sunday morning downtown near the corner of 16th and Mike Fahey streets. At first I thought like somebody like broke into my car and then uh, I looked and nothing was gone. The party responsible them, didn't uh, take anything, but what was left behind on his driver's window caught his attention. I saw this side first and I was like, I didn't know, I was like, looked like a club symbol, so I said, okay, they're promoting something, and then when I looked and I read it, I was just like, okay. It was a swastika symbol on a card that read, America was 90% white in 1950. It is now 60%. Make America great again. And I read it. I didn't say anything. I just handed it to her. She read it. She started crying, and she called the cops. The card also promotes President Donald Trump and lists three French websites, one resembling a podcast blog. Vincent says he didn't see any other cars that night with the card and has no idea who could have done it. I just moved here, I guess, a month ago. So I don't even know anyone. And it feels like almost like somebody had to be watching me to know what my car was, who I was, because I don't know anyone else here. Vincent said he's still numb at the situation, but hopes to put it behind him. It won't stop. It never will stop. People will always be ignorant. And um, that's why I just chose to move forward and not really retaliate, stoop to their level. Vincent says he and his friend called police to file a report after it happened, but were told it would be about two hours before police would make it out there. He's now trying to restore his window. Reporting live from the studio, Maya Sines, 3 News Now.